Good morning, Miramar. Happy Wednesday to you. And yes, I am back, Tamara G. You know, it's been a while since I hosted the show. Uh, I actually started the show uh, almost two years ago, and I'm so happy to be back in the city of Miramar. Of course, you can always check me out every weekday morning on 101.5 Light FM with Julie Guy. And now I'm in the city of Miramar again for Good Morning Miramar. So I'm so happy to be back. Thank you all so much for welcoming me back. And listen, we're going to get right to the weather forecast for today. We have had some of those thunderstorms coming through. Uh, we are going to have rain today, high of 91 with a 40% chance of rain. So if you haven't had it in your area yet, don't worry, it's coming. Uh, tonight, looking for a low of about 79 right here in the middle of hurricane season. And let me tell you some good news, some news headlines coming out is that finally after 11 months, all of Puerto Rico now has power again. It's amazing and sad that it's taken almost a year because uh, I remember when Hurricane Maria hit um, and it's been almost a year ago, it was 11 months ago, and they have finally gotten power to all of the islands. So that is good news. Uh, some bad news on the West Coast, however, in California, that big wildfire that's out there is now the largest in the state. It has uh, grown in size and it's the largest ever in the state of California. So it seems like pretty much all of California is on fire. Uh, hopefully they will be able to get that under control. Some other news that's come out as well is that Demi Lovato, has been released from the hospital. She's going into rehab. She issued a statement about her heroin overdose and uh, we just wish her well. We hope that uh, anyone who needs help out there, that if they would just ask for help or to find the help. Uh, and she's been very public about her trials and tribulations when it comes to addiction. So we wish her well in um, fighting her addiction. And last but not least, this story right here is hilarious. Uh, it looks like HDTV is the big winner of the Brady Bunch home. Yes, I, I don't know if you knew this or not, but the iconic Brady Bunch home, the outside landscape that they used uh, in the TV series, the actual house went up for sale. Listen to this, $1.9 million was where the bidding started. And HGTV was the big winner. Lance Bass of NSYNC is heartbroken because he bid on it as well. And he said he's heartbroken that he did not win the auction. But, you know, there are so many iconic homes that are in our memories and from our childhood. The Brady Bunch definitely is one of them. My favorite house, though, was the Bewitched House. I wanted to live in Samantha Stevens' house. So, uh, you know, Brady Bunch was okay, but Bewitched was definitely my house. So that's a little bit of your news headlines this morning. And don't forget, coming up in the city of Miramar, because it is right here in Miramar, the Burger and Brews happening Friday, August 17th. It is the second annual Burger and Brews event right here at City Hall, 2300 Civic Center Place. It is going to be fantastic. I was here last year. They had all the different booths set up all the different restaurants uh, creating the different burgers and you can try different beers. It is definitely going to be a blast. So make your way on out here again, 2300 Civic Center Place, Friday night, August 17th. We uh, just had Jamaica Independence. We just had that this past weekend here at City Hall and it was uh, standing room only. So uh, thank you to everybody who came out to support that. And don't forget to put also on your calendars in September, the Hispanic Heritage Month event that is going to be out at the Miramar Amp. So definitely put that on your calendars for September because it is going to be a show as well. And that's going to be rain or shine because, of course, the amp is covered. Remember, our Miramar Amp is covered. Speaking of covered, we've got you covered for events that are happening this weekend in the city of Miramar, including talking to a cricket legend coming up next. We've got Lawrence Rowe in the house. He's going to be talking about his foundation and also Jamaica Ice, which is the event that's coming up this weekend. So stick around for that on Good Morning Miramar. The City of Miramar invites you to our second annual Burger and Brew Fest in the Plaza, August 17th from 7 to 11 p.m. at 2300 Civic Center Place. Hit the dance floor and dive into some juicy burgers and cold brews from your local favorite hotspots. The second annual Burger and Brew Fest is right here in Miramar. Well, good morning, Miramar. We are back, and I'm Tamara G. Here with me today is truly a legend in the world of cricket and what he is doing in the community. Mr. Lawrence Rowe, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. Nice to be here. I'm so happy to have you. And tell us a little bit about 
the Lawrence Rowe Legendary Foundation because I know that this is very dear to your heart. You wanted to start something that would create a movement here in South Florida. Yes, um, the Lawrence Rowe Foundation was formed um, seven years ago. And um, Audrey Rowe, my wife, who was very much involved. She mm -hmm. was the primary person behind the pushing to get it going. And it was named after me, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, since that time, we have um, started a children program, okay. um, which we have done in Miramar for the past, this year would be the seventh year we are doing it, which is called Jamaica Heist. Okay. And, um, you know, it has been a great couple of years that we have done it here in Miramar. Well, tell us a little bit about the world of cricket, because you played for so many years and still looking like you're playing now <laughs> <laughs> in great shape. Uh, tell us a little bit about cricket, because I know it's, it's gaining popularity in the United States, particularly here in South Florida, yes. because we do have the Caribbean uh, world here in South Florida. But tell us a little bit for those who may not know about cricket. Yes, well, I'll, I'll start by saying for those who don't know about cricket, cricket is really the, um, the, the big um, cousin to baseball. Okay. So for the Americans who love baseball, you, uh -huh. know, you know, cricket is, um, was a sport that was here before, and then they, um, when the Americans came, the British was here first, right. and they brought the cricket here, and then when the Americans took over, they transferred to, to base baseball. To baseball. Okay, right. so it's the big cousin of yeah, baseball. Yeah, basically okay. the big cousin. And it's um, probably the second most watched sport in the world, Behind second only to soccer. Soccer, uh, otherwise known as football well, in, other football, words, yes. in, in other words. Football, in other words. So, um, but I can tell you, it looks like it's very, uh, you have to be athletic to be out there on the cricket field, let me oh, tell oh, you. Oh, <laughs> very much so, very much so, because most of the fields are 65 yards oh my. in circumference and over. That's right. the smallest ground you'll get. Right. So, so you're you, running you, you, you and can moving? Go, yes, all the time you're running and moving. Okay. You know, and I, I'd say it's very similar in a lot of ways to baseball. 11 players we have, you know, a few little differences here and there, but... Um, we now start playing at nights. Cricket usually play in the days, but no, we are. <laughs> but it is 100 degrees here. <laughs> yes, we're now playing at night. Okay. And um, for the Americans, um, Florida here, we have built um, the Broad Regional Park, mm -hmm. which is a cricket center. It right. It's the first cricket ground that was right. built in the U.S. And, um, and are you, know, you finding that people are are finding you, are finding your organization because they want to learn more about um, how to play this game or how to get their kids involved in it? No, not necessarily with the foundation for okay. that, but um, I've been pretty much, very much involved in the community. You've been the spokesperson. Where the, yeah, where uh -huh. that is concerned. Uh -huh. And um, I'd say we have brought some international games to the stadium in Broad County. Okay. And uh, just over the weekend, um, we had West Indies and Bangladesh playing the stadium um, last um, Saturday and Sunday night, wow. which we were there. So, and then we have the CPL coming up. So two weeks time, we're gonna have international, international cricket here again. Okay, so it's okay. been gaining popularity here, and uh, we're trying to get the natives involved <laughs> so that America can... We, um, we Yankees, is that we, what you we can, <laughs> have, we can have an American team okay. in, in international cricket. Well, that sounds good. You know, good. that's why we work in towards. All right, sounds you know. good. And so with the foundation, what is your primary uh, purpose and goal with creating the foundation? Well, basically, we have two parts to it so far. We're in um, the Jamaica Ice, as I said earlier on. That's mm -hmm. a children program Okay. where we mentor and we put children on show, the cultural Caribbean culture, mm -hmm. and the children come and showcase their talents at Jamaica Ice. Uh-huh. And uh, that is really the main factor. We do um, a tutoring program, which Always Audrey is the head of that. Mm -hmm. And then on the international stage on cricket, um, the, the foundation does the legendary ball. Mm -hmm. And we have done um, two of them so far, which has been good, where we bring back a lot of the legends, people who used to play the sport. Mm -hmm. We bring them back here, and we try to honor a few of them. And in that event, we, um, we gave away three scholarships to um, the children in the Tri-County. Excellent. So, um, you know, we're, we're striving to, towards bigger things. And as we move on, you know, we get it better. We're trying to get um, Murmur, I must say, I must thank um, Commissioner Chambers uh -huh. for his help the last two years with the, the Jamaica Ice program. He's been influential in helping us. Well, speaking of Jamaica Ice, we're going to be talking about that in just a minute. It is coming up. 
this weekend. So you can check this out. It's going to be Sunday, August 12th. We're going to have more information on Jamaica Ice, and we're going to have uh, one of the young participants come on and sing for us because that's all part of Jamaica Ice as well, coming up in just a minute. But, of course, we'll be back right after this. The City of Miramar invites you to our second annual Burger and Brew Fest in the Plaza, August 17th from 7 to 11 p.m. at 2300 Civic Center Place. Hit the dance floor and dive into some juicy burgers and cold brews from your local favorite hot spots. The second annual Burger and Brew Fest is right here in Miramar. Welcome back to Good Morning Miramar. I'm Tamara G here with the legendary Lawrence Rowe, and we've been joined by Soleil. She's actually going to be one of the feature performers this weekend for the Jamaica Ice. That would be the Independence Children Extravaganza. It's happening Sunday, August 12th at Miramar Regional Park. The gates open at 1 p.m. Showtime is from 2 to 8. So we would love to have you show up and show out this coming Sunday, August 12th, because it's all about the children. And of course, we'll be talking more with Mr. Rowe about uh, cricket and what the Jamaica Ice is all about. But right now, we're going to have Soleil take it away. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> Hi, Soleil. Um, I'm gonna just do a little piece. Or something. Okay. Um, if you knew how much I love you, how much I need you, you wouldn't stay away. Now, darling, I know you have got another girl. He treats you right. I know she's even more beautiful than I. Well, if you knew how my heart burned for you and how I longed for you, then you wouldn't stay away. You wouldn't stay away. Oh, very right. nicely done. Very nicely done. So that is a little bit of what you can <laughs> what you can look forward to this Sunday along. Now tell us, Mr. Rowe, about uh, some of the other acts that are going to be performing because it is all about the children. Yes, we have um, one of them. Um, Mr. Mrs. Rowe. Mr. Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> we have one of South Florida best band uh -huh. that is going to be performing there. So we're going to have all sorts of Caribbean music okay. by that band. It should be nice. Yeah. And that would be the, the featured event. Uh -huh. And um, Soleil is my daughter. Okay. <laughs> so she will be working. She'll okay. Be working. She'll be working with uh -huh. the band. And um, we have various acts, you know, people, poems. Oh, great. Songs, um, a little bit of acting. Okay. So you it's know, all about the creativity. All about the creativity, uh -huh. you know, the culture and okay. the creativity for the kids. Everybody okay. come and do their thing. And the age limit is from three, four years old. Right up. We have a few um, older folks who come in and give some of the history okay. of the Caribbean islands. Jamaica mainly because this time of the year is Jamaica independent. So, right. you know, we talk a little bit more about Jamaica. Okay, sounds good. And of course, this is all happening on Sunday, August the 12th. Again, right here, Jamaica Ice, Sunday, August 12th. It's going to be at the Miramar Regional Park. That's 16801 Miramar Parkway in the Corporate Pavilion. It's going to be very nice. If you want more information, you can always go to the website, lawrencerow.org. And Mr. Rowe, you told me earlier that, of course, you guys are a 501c3, so nonprofit. And how are you raising your funds? Well, this is how it is. We're in, you know, when we do events like these, mm -hmm. we, um, we ask the public, anybody who wants to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And this is what we do. Uh, we, um, uh, we finance these programs by donations. Uh -huh. So anybody who um, wants to, um, to make a donation can go to, go to the website, lawrenceroad.org, and just follow the instructions, and mm -hmm. you can do what you want to do. Whatever you want to give us, it's fine. We All appreciate right. it. And we appreciate you coming in today. So again, Jamaica Ice, the Independence Children's Extravaganza is happening this Sunday. Of course, if you want more information about the Lawrence Road Legendary Foundation, you can also go to lawrenceroad.org for that. And it's Lawrence, R-O-W-E. Um, uh, I'm loving and would love to see more cricket out here because I'm telling you, the few times that I have watched it, I'm thinking to myself, man, I would be tired <laughs> after, <laughs> after being out there on that field because yeah. you all are moving, moving, yeah, yes, moving. Yes. So 
It's got a lot of moving parts going yes. on there. Yes. So We'll try to see if we can get you a ticket for <laughs> one of the games coming up. I would love to come. So in. you'll be there live to see it. To see it for myself. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I would love that. So thank you so much, Mr. Rowe, for coming in. Thank you so much. Uh, Soleil for coming in. We'll hear more from you on Sunday, August 12th at the Miramar Regional Park. And thank you all so much for joining us today on Good Morning Miramar. Thanks for having us.